corporations, for example, right? We humans decided to create corporations because it can benefit us greatly. Now, all of a sudden, there's a supermarket. I can go buy food there. I don't have to hunt. Awesome. Uh, and then to, to make sure that this corporation would do things that were good for us and not bad for us, we created institutions to keep them in check. Mm -hmm. Like if the local supermarket sell, sells poisonous food, then those some the owners of the supermarket have to spend some years reflecting behind <laughs> bars, right? Yes. So yeah. we, we created incentives to, get to align them. But of course, just like we were able to see through this thing and you develop birth control, if you're a powerful corporation, you also have an incentive to try to hack the institutions that are supposed to govern you. Because yeah. you ultimately, as a corporation, have an incentive to maximize your profit. Just like you have an incentive to maximize the enjoyment your brain has, mm -hmm. not for your genes. So if they can figure out a way of, of bribing regulators, then they're going to do that. Uh, in the US, we kind of caught on to that and made laws against corruption and bribery. Uh, then uh, in the late 1800s, uh, Teddy Roosevelt realized that, no, we were still being kind of hacked because the Massachusetts Railroad companies had like a bigger budget than the state of Massachusetts, and they were doing a lot of very corrupt stuff. So he did the whole trust-busting thing to try to align these other non-human entities, the companies, again, more with the incentives of Americans as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, it's not surprising, though, that you know this is a battle you have to keep fighting. Now we have even larger companies than we ever had before. Mm -hmm. And of course, they're going to try to, uh, again, subvert uh, the institutions. Not because, you know, I think people make a mistake of getting all too um, black, thinking about things in terms of good and evil, like arguing about whether corporations are good or evil or whether robots are good or evil. A robot isn't good or evil. It's a tool, and you can use it for great things like robotic surgery or for bad things. And a corporation also is a tool, of course. And if you have good incentives to the corporation, it'll do great things like start a hospital or a grocery store. If you have really bad incentives, then it's going to start maybe marketing addictive drugs to people and you'll have an opioid epidemic, right? Uh, it's all about, I don't want, we should we not make the mistake of getting into some sort of fairy tale, good, evil thing about corporations or robots. We should focus on putting the right incentives in place. My optimistic vision is that if we can do that, you know, then we can really get good things. We're not doing so great with that right now, either on AI, I think, or on other intelligent non-human entities like big companies. Like right? we just have a new um, Secretary of, of Defense who's going to start up now in, in the Biden administration, who is was an active member of the board of Raytheon, for oh, example. Well, yeah. So you know. I have nothing against Raytheon. Uh, I'm all, I'm not a pacifist, but there's an obvious conflict of interest if someone is in the job where they decide who they're going to contract with. And I think somehow we have uh, maybe we need another Teddy Roosevelt to come along again and say, "Hey, you know, we want what's good for all Americans, and we need to go do some serious realigning again of the incentives that we're giving to these big companies." And um, then we're going to be better off.